Hey, let's take a look at your MT5 final affirmation right now. On this first question, it says, Tony wants to rent a boat and spend less than $60. The boat costs $7 per hour, which is, I like what you did here, $7 per hour. But he has a discount of $3, so you subtract the 3 What are the possible number of hours Tony can rent the boat? The problem I have with your solution is you said 7H minus 3 has to be greater than 60, or 60B has to be less than the amount you spent. He only has $60 to spend, so you got the inequality pointed the wrong direction. I always like to put the variable on the left. So 7T minus 3 has to be less than 60. That's the only mistake you made. Because then I look at the algebra, you added 3 to both sides, and you divided by 7. You have the inequality pointed the wrong way. So it should be t is less than 9. He, can only, he only has $60 to spend, so he can't spend more than $60. And that's what you had when you wrote 60 first. Let's take a look at this question. This is what I emailed you about because... You have the start of problem eight, but I didn't see anything else to give any more partial credit. Um, let's start with part A. You wrote this down, you, you correctly distributed the X, but then when you copied it down, I think you forgot the X over here, and then I don't know what you did for the rest of the problem, because I think there's another page. But we're just gonna go over it now, so it's not that big a deal. So we subtract 28x from both sides. And notice when you subtract 28x from both sides, they cancel on the left. So you're left with 20. Let me change it back to purple. 20 is greater than 22 because the x's cancel on the right side. That's the reason we did it. Is 20 greater than 22? Is 20 to the right of 22 on the number line? And that answer is no, it is not. Since it's not true and there's no variable, this is a no solution problem. Now on letter B, I didn't see any work there. It was probably on the next page. Let's distribute that negative two inside the parentheses. So we get negative two V minus 10 plus 28 is less than or equal to, and we'll distribute the four on the right-hand side, and we'll get 12 minus three V. So we will distribute our Vs. Let's combine our like terms. Let's take negative 10 plus 28. Well, that's 18. So we're gonna rewrite this as negative two V plus 18 is less than or equal to 12 minus 3v. At this point, I would like you to collect all of your v's on the same side. So let's add 3v to both sides. So we have v plus 18 is less than or equal to 12. Now, let's get all the v's on one side. Oh, we were out the V's on the one side. Let's get rid of the 18. So minus 18 from both sides. When you subtract, you don't switch the inequality or anything like that. So we get V is less than negative 6. So you should have chosen the one that's less than. And then we should have put negative 6 right here. This, as far as I'm concerned, the only problem you truly got wrong on the whole test. Other parts, you got part of it wrong, you misinterpreted things, but I think you know what's going on. Here is a perfect example where I think you know what's going on, but you made a careless error. It's shaded in between, so you put X in between. It's between negative 2 and 5. Is X less than negative 2, though? How does negative 2 compare to 5? Notice negative 2 is to the left of five on the number line. So really what I wanted to see here is negative two is less than x, which is less than or equal to five. 
If we take, and I don't know if we can do this or not, and if we cover up the x, pretend it isn't there, how does negative 2 compare to 5? Well, negative 2 is less than 5. That's why we have to have a less than sign on both of these. Okay, this problem. Absolute value. I don't know what you're doing here. You're kind of right, but you're definitely wrong. If we have the absolute value of v is less than 6, that means it's less than 6 away from 0. So I'm going to go to the right 6 and to the left 6. So what I'm going to say here is negative 6 is less than v plus 2, which is less than 6. Because we're saying that absolute value, v plus 2, is between negative 6 and 6. The other mistake was when the opposite of adding is not adding, like you did. The opposite of adding is subtracting. So we should subtract 2 from the middle, from the right, and from the left. So negative 6 minus 2 is negative 8, which is less than v because the 2's cancel out. And negative 6 minus 2, or 6 minus 2, I'm sorry, is 4. So in other words, on your number line, you should have shaded between negative 8 and positive 4. And you did have the open circles, correct? And you did shade in between, you just shaded in between the wrong numbers. So we should have shaded in between negative 8 and positive 4. And that's the only mistakes you made on the test. So I'm not going to have you redo this. Go on and do the midterm review. Upload your work to Schoology. And if you have a hard time doing that, just email me the attachment of a picture of all your work. After you com Actually, I don't need that. Once you've completed the midterm review, just let me know. I'll open up a test for you.